Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Today we're going to do inverse functions. Are you ready, class? Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. I wonder what they're thinking in the next room. <laughs> Yay, math is what they're thinking. <laughs> they are. Okay. Inverse functions. Inverse functions is loosely defined by the following. Flip x and y. Replace x and y. That's all it is. Replacing x and y. So, let's think about it. If you had a function, these points, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, Negative 5, negative 8. What's the squigglies? These imply it's a set, a set of three points. A set of three points, yes. Squigglies, call them braces. Many of you are wearing them now. Okay. So, x, y, x, y, x, y. What is the inverse of f? As in, you can raise your hand. Yeah, go ahead. x parentheses f. Oh, that's my great squiggly. What's the first oh, point? Two one. Two one. Yeah. Keep going, everyone. Negative, negative four, three. negative three. Oh, God. Not negative. Not three. quite. Keep going, more people. Negative, negative eight, 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 negative five. That's yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the inverse. The inverse function is written like this. It's like f to the negative one. Or F inverse. So instead of a fraction? Maybe? Right, right. It's just written like that. So it's inverse function. You flip x and y. Any questions about flipping x and y? Okay. Okay. So imagine you had a function that was this. F of x equals, yep. <laughs> I like the jumping. The Mac that'll make you jump, jump. Anyone know Criss Cross in here? Before your time. Oh, yeah. You know Criss Cross? I was watching on VH1. Make, make it a make it a make it a make, Mac Daddy. Got that one? Oh, my God. <laughs> they wear their clothes backwards. They wear their clothes backwards. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not that lost on you. Sabrina. Um, this is a function. <laughs> this is a function. Here's x. What's y? What is y in our? F of x. F of x. F of x. Right, right. Thank you, Sabrina. So this is no y. So we rewrite this as y equals, okay, f of x converts to y. f of x converts to y. Why don't you change it the other one? Oh, it's unnecessary because this is x, y, x, y, x, y. But no, now here, why don't you change that to a y? We did, we changed f of x to y. No, no, why did here? you leave that x, yeah. Oh, because x is x. You can't change it. No, no. We will, we will change it when we're creating the inverse. So, if inverse means replace x and y with each other, what would the inverse equation be? Yeah? Say it loud. x equals y minus 3 over 5. Correct. Okay. Inverse. You just yeah. replace y with x. Good job, dog. x equals y minus 3 over 5. Okay, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. I was on my belt of uh, the inverse function. Right? Do you but, have to have the middle step? Well, we know that f of x equals y, so we just need to write it as y to help us out. But technically, no. You can just write this as x equals y minus 3. You can go from here to here. Okay, but however, for it to be a function, we need to solve for y. That's the last step. So we've replaced x and y, and now the equation will be in the form of y equals something. So how do we solve for y here? Multiply by 5. Multiply by 5. Yay! Multiply by 5. <laughs> You're like a little kid who brought a macaroni picture. So do I! Okay, <laughs> so what do we get? 5x equals what? Y minus, y minus 3. Y minus 3. Y minus 3. What do we do to both sides? Add three. Add three. So y equals 5x plus 3. 5x plus 3. You can leave it like that? This is the inverse function. So technically, we can write f to the negative 1 of x equals. So if I graph that first one and that last one, they'd be? They'd be inverses of each other. Let's talk about that. Wait. Yeah. F to the negative one 
times x of equals x, of x. Of x equals y equals 5x plus 3? No. Yeah, it's like the same as y. Think of it like y. So instead, if we leave it as y, would that be wrong? Not necessarily, no. But when we're talking about functions, the traditional way is to have y in the form of f of x or something. All right. So that's the idea. We just change it to y for the purposes of math. OK. What inverse means, basically, is that each of the two functions, right? if you graph both of them, they would be reflected over the line. OK, so imagine this is the line y equals x. So think of this line like a mirror. And if you have one function that's like doing something over here, let's say like. This is always on the SAT. <laughs> yes, it is SAT relevant. So let's say you have one line that's like going like this. OK? That's one line. The reflection of it would be, if this was the mirror, it would be doing something like this. Pardon the uh, broken lines, but you know. But yeah, they're mirror images of each other, and as if the blue line is the mirror. So just think of it that way. That's the conceptual level. However, if you want to do it technically, inverse means flip x and y. Right? That's what it is. Are they always going to cross in the middle point? No, not necessarily. You could have one line, one line that kind of goes like, or one thing that goes like this. So the inverse of this would be a reflection like over here. That's all. So that's reflected. Okay. So how do we know whether two functions are inverses of each other? That's what we're doing next. And that's what we're doing last. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Did everyone leave? Where'd you guys go? Okay. We're here! Oh, yeah. To the left uh, of the <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm glad you know Criss Cross. I do. Yeah. The wicked, 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 Mac Daddy. Oh. You didn't dig yourself. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be telling our kids about soldier boys. <laughs> All right. Do you remember this concept? Yeah. F of g of x. Yes. Okay. If f of g of x. This means there are two functions here. There are two functions. F is a function. G is a function. If it equals x, and g of f of x equals x, then you know that f and g are inverses of each other. We're going to do an example now. We're going to do an example. So same. So the problem will be, f of x is given, g of x is given. Are they inverses of each other? Yeah. And you run the following checks. If they turn out to be both x, then they are inverses of each other. So I'll give you two. So imagine f of x here. f of x equals 5x plus 10. g of x equals 1 over 5x minus 2. And the question is that you'll see on the test or homework, or whatever, are f and g inverses of each other? Okay. That's what we're solving. That's what we're solving. So let's write it. Inverses? Question? It's like a mystery. Inverses. All right, so let's solve for these. Let's solve for these. How would we write? f of g of x. Anyone recall? Five. So what do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Got something? We're do five, um, and then you're going to do in parentheses one, good. one fifth x minus two. Good, good, good. Parentheses plus ten. Good. I'm going to do an intermediate step, but that's right. I did not. Yeah, I know. It's for the people. Yeah. I'm going to show you the intermediate step. What is g of x? f. <coughs> no, what is g of one x? One fifth x minus two. One fifth x minus two. So in place of this g of x, I'm going to write. One fifth x minus two. Observe. Observing. <laughs> G of x coming up. One over five x minus two. 
Any questions? We replace g of x with its function. Okay. Now in the rules of f of something, as in f of 1 would be 5 times 1 plus 10, f of 2 would be 5 times 2 plus 10, what is f of 1 half x minus 2? What? Exactly. Yeah, okay. What if I said f of 1? What would you think? Uh, that f of 1 equals 5, five, one five, plus five plus times two. 1. So whatever is in this parentheses, you put here. Oh. Allow me to color. Okay. Just by the way, when students go, oh, it's like teacher's dreams. Like, oh, it's like, yes. Oh, no. Okay. Accept that when that happens. Okay. So notice they're both blue. Whatever you put in these parentheses, you replace an X here. So what if I said F of strawberry? What would the function be? Strawberry. Something about fruit just makes people happy. Okay. So what if I said F of one half X minus two? What would be in place of X? Five times one half. One half X minus two would be in place of here. One fifth. Sorry. One fifth X minus two. I'm excited. So, f of <laughs> that equals 5 times 1 fifth x, x minus 2 minus 2 uh, plus 10. <laughs> right? Any questions? You cool? Yeah. yeah. Solve. And now we solve. This should be x for the functions to be inverses of each other. This should turn out to be just x. Let's see if it is. Distribute 5 times 1 fifth x is what? x. 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 Minus, minus, minus 10. 10. Wait, what 5 times yeah. negative 2? Distributive. Distributive Why? property, yeah. Why is 5 times 1 over 5 x? Five. This is the function f. All right, it's five times something plus 10. See it? Five times yeah, something plus 10. So the something in this case is the thing in this parentheses. Mm -hmm. So something in this case is 1 half x minus 2. So f of 1 half x minus 2 one goes fifth. here. 1 fifth x minus 2 goes here and here. OK? Are you cool? Yeah. OK, I'm glad you asked. So 5 times this and 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. We have plus 10 equals x. So far, so good. We're halfway done. Now we have to do it the other, way. The other one? Now we have to do it the other way. Is it possible that one checks and yes, the other doesn't? Yes, it's possible oh, that one checks and the other does not. Copies yeah, I know. Math. Crazy, huh? OK, so let's do it here. What are we going to check now? Yes? G, is G of x. G of f of x yeah, that's what I'm is x. So let's write Correct. it. Can G. I attempt it? Everyone attempt it! G hey. five plus <laughs> Try it out. Why not? So this is the part in the videotape where we'll pause for the viewing audience to try it at home. <laughs> You're really bad at that. Play. Yeah. <laughs> He's falling. <laughs> 30 grounds moving. It's weird. <laughs> Who put an escalator here? Not an escalator, conveyor belt. <laughs> escalator. They're only in airports. <laughs> have this discussion. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's done? Me. You're done? Good. Yeah. Who else is done? Too busy laughing. Too busy laughing. I'm a bad influence. Yeah, you are. G of what are we going to write? G, G of 5x plus, plus 10. Good. G of 5x plus 10. Writing. Instead of f of x, right? Instead of f of x. Okay, I got that. G of 5x plus 10. Woo! 10. 10. Okie dokes. Should we plug it in? What about that? Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> hey, no commercials. No commercials, yeah. Don't this is. Shut up. Okay. Here we go. Sponsored by your mind. <laughs> that was great. That was very helpful. One half. Or one fifth. Why am I on one fifth? Maybe you should just change it. One half for some reason. One fifth. Uh, five x plus ten. 
To be fair, fives look like two sometimes. Minus two. <laughs> Minus two. It's like the same movement of your hand. Yeah. Just reverse. Watch you flip it and flip it. Thank you for the announcement. Sorry. <laughs> what happened with that X? That was up there. Was uh, which X? This one? No, one more up. This one? Yeah, to the left. Here? This X? Yeah. Not in the middle. This X? Yeah. This is the function G of X. G of X is defined as... Okay. Whatever goes in these parentheses goes here. Just like last time. So, now look what's in the parentheses. G of this. So, in this case, what's in parentheses is 5x plus 10. So 5x plus 10 is here. And now we distribute. What is 1 fifth times 5x? 2 x. 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 X plus 2. So this is x plus 2 minus 2. Aha. Yeah. 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 Equals x. I think so. F of g of x is x. G of f of x is x. Are they inverses of each other? C. Yes. yes. That's it. That's all it is. So it equals x and then x is... Yeah, then you confirm that f and g are inverses of each other. Well, what if it's like 2x and 2x? Then they're not inverses of What's each other. What's the logic behind that? The logic behind it is, remember the reflecting line that yeah. we drew? The mirror? Both functions, when you, make, when you uh, create them as functions of each other, they both converge onto the line y equals x. So this is actually like an identity. It's an identity. I know that doesn't make sense to you. No, but it, <laughs> it was valiant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, many times, especially for students and stuff, you don't really need to like know the reasons behind everything when you're just under the gun of homework and tests and stuff, right? That's true. It's my. It's my. But sense. in the school of life. <laughs> in the school of life. All right, good. Thank you. That was fun. Uh, the time just flew, did it not? Yes. Yeah. All right. Who wants a marker? Yay, I do. Yeah. Okay, you can cut it. Bye. Spy world. Stay in school.